right, welcome back to Business Today. Advanced effects of climate change and erratic weather patterns have left farmers counting losses after crops failed. In Berisau, this is the third season for the range to fail. With KTN's Moiga William engaging a number of farmers, they say that the future is uncertain with little to be ripped from their agricultural activities. We say it's not all about agriculture, but agribusiness. Well, remember late last year, around mid-December, we visited uh, this farm that belongs to Mr. John Juki, who was doing his second weeding. And uh, by that time, there were uh, there were uh, there was um, not much rain, but there were erratic rains in this part of Embu. This is Mbere South, actually. And uh, he had some fears that these crops might not do well. And we are doing a follow-up today with him and uh, maybe engage him more on his farming uh, in the current days. Thank you for your time. Again, we are back to check up on you on farming. You had some fears. What will you say for now? I told you, uh, you may invest on this, on the farming. Uh, I do all what is possible, all what is necessary, but you can never be sure. And exactly like now, all you see is no much hope. Uh, you don't expect much. We don't expect any more rains. So at the end of the day, sure you count losses. If I use fertilizer, say have a bag, which is going at around the nearly 3,000, the, the certified seeds uh, and weeding, which is money, and okay, and also to control for armyworms. All that costs inclusive, surely. Uh, okay, we see, we say under economical conditions, when the conditions are good, you, at least you may get uh, 10 bucks, uh, I mean 20 bucks, that uh, per acre. But now, surely in this uh, quarter an acre, you will not end up even with five. So which is, uh, is, is not economical, yeah. Like the rain, you cannot control the rains which is now the main uh, failure here. The rains were not there. They started so well until Tassori, but they, they tailed off, and that was all. Uh, later on, it's only a few, I think two weeks, some drizzles which may not assist the crop. Well, there you have it from uh, Mr. Njoke, who is a farmer here in Mbere, Mbere South, Kiambere to be specific. His fears, erratic weather patterns, climate change, has led to this loss that is a uh but also, we have managed to speak to residents in this area. There is also another fear of not only drought, but famine in this area. Sasa vile tu tutaenda unajua tumesoea hii ukame yetu. Hata serikali ikose kutuangalia sisi tu tuna tunanjikakamua kujitavutia. Tunaenda kwa mchanga tunatavuta sangalawe huku tunaenda kuusa wale watu wako na nguvu kidogo wananjenga wanachukua watu kifarua. Hiyo ndio tunafanya. Na sasa vile mimea wengine walikuwa nategemea zile ndengu ndio zikunje wa use ndio ya skuvis. Lakini sasa vile kumeenda hifo, mungu tu atatuangalia, yutuko kama vinanda muengine. There you have it from Kiambere in Bere, South Embu County. Uh, remember uh, after the short rains in December now, drought and also uh, possible famine in this particular area of Embu County. I'm Wege William and I'll take you back to studio. All right, the United Arab Emirates government.